What if I told you that the future of the world hinges on something smaller than your fingernail? That the outcome of a global power struggle, the pace of innovation, and even the fate of artificial intelligence depends on tiny pieces of silicon no bigger than a grain of rice? These aren't just chips, they're the brains of modern civilization. And behind this quiet revolution stand two colossal titans, ASML and TSMC. Together, they are the silent architects of the digital age. But now, their dominance is being challenged, and the consequences could reshape the world. From the smartphone in your hand to the satellites orbiting Earth, semiconductors make our modern lives possible. They're the invisible engines inside everything. Phones, laptops, smartwatches, cars, medical devices, fighter jets, and even refrigerators. Without them, the world would come to a grinding halt. And yet the global semiconductor industry, worth trillions of dollars, rests heavily on the shoulders of just a few key players. At the heart of it all is ASML, a Dutch company that holds an exclusive grip on the most advanced chip-making machines in existence, extreme ultraviolet lithography systems, or EUVs. These machines are marvels of modern engineering. Each one costs over $150 million and is so complex it requires multiple cargo planes to deliver. They're responsible for carving out the tiniest, most intricate circuits on microchips, features thinner than a strand of DNA. Without ASML's EUVs, producing the cutting-edge chips used in AI, quantum computing, and next-gen smartphones would be impossible. They're the crown jewels of the tech world. But having the tools means nothing without the master craftsmen. Enter TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, the world's largest contract chip maker. If ASML provides the tools, TSMC brings the vision to life. They manufacture chips designed by global tech giants like Apple, Nvidia, AMD, and Qualcomm. From iPhones to supercomputers, TSMC's production lines give form to the ideas of the world's most innovative companies. Their manufacturing prowess is unmatched, and the world's most advanced technologies depend on their precision and efficiency. Together, ASML and TSMC are the twin pillars propping up the global digital economy. But their dominance has also made them pawns in a much larger and increasingly volatile geopolitical game, a high-stakes battle for technological supremacy between the United States and China. For years, China has pursued a bold goal, to become a self-sufficient tech superpower. The nation is pouring hundreds of billions into its semiconductor industry, aiming to reduce reliance on foreign tech and build a fully independent chip supply chain. But despite rapid progress, one obstacle remains stubbornly in the way, access to the most advanced chip-making tools, many of which are controlled by foreign firms like ASML and TSMC. The United States, wary of China's growing ambitions, has moved decisively to limit its technological rise. In recent years, Washington has tightened export controls on advanced semiconductor equipment and technologies, blocking China's access to EUV machines and restricting partnerships with top chipmakers. These restrictions, backed by allies in Europe and Asia, are designed to keep China generations behind in chipmaking capabilities. But now, China is striking back. In a bold and controversial move, Beijing has reportedly taken steps to limit ASML and TSMC's operations within its borders. The details remain murky, shrouded in secrecy, but insiders suggest China is increasing regulatory scrutiny and imposing restrictions that could disrupt the company's influence in its domestic chip market. While the exact nature of these actions is still speculative, the implications are enormous. Some experts believe China is attempting to break free from the grip of foreign chip makers once and for all. ASML, caught in the crossfire, has been vocal about the potential fallout. CEO Peter Wenink has warned that cutting off China from critical technologies could backfire. Instead of slowing them down, he argues, it will only motivate China to build its own capabilities faster. And the stakes are high, not just for China, but for ASML itself. China is one of its largest markets, and losing access could cost billions in revenue. Wenink has called for a more balanced approach, one that addresses security concerns while still fostering global innovation. 
Meanwhile, TSMC finds itself walking a diplomatic tightrope. As a Taiwanese firm with deep economic ties to both the United States and China, it's in an increasingly precarious position. Any disruption in its operations could have ripple effects across the entire tech industry. But make no mistake, China's actions are not just reactive. They're part of a calculated long-term strategy. The nation is investing aggressively in chip design, research, and domestic manufacturing. Massive subsidies, tax breaks, and state-backed initiatives are fueling the rise of a homegrown semiconductor ecosystem. New chip fabrication plants, known as FABs, are being constructed at breakneck speed. Local firms are developing their own lithography tools and chip architectures. And while China still lags in certain ultra-advanced technologies, the gap is closing. This aggressive push for self-reliance could give rise to new tech giants and completely transform the global semiconductor landscape. The dominance of Western firms like ASML and TSMC may not go unchallenged for much longer. And that's where the world finds itself at a crossroads. The intensifying rivalry between the United States and China has sparked fears of technological decoupling, a scenario where the world splits into two separate ecosystems, each with its own supply chains, standards, and innovations. In such a future, companies could be forced to pick sides. Collaboration would give way to competition. Efficiency could suffer, innovation could slow, and the very nature of global progress could change. It's a chilling prospect. Decoupling means higher costs, fragmented research, limited access to cutting-edge tools, and perhaps even the stalling of humanity's most promising innovations from clean energy to AI. As countries race to secure chip sovereignty, the dream of a united, collaborative, tech-driven world may start to fade. So, where does this leave us? The world is on the brink of a new technological era, one defined not just by innovation, but by competition, rivalry, and resilience. The semiconductor industry, once a symbol of globalization and cooperation, is becoming a battleground for power and influence. ASML and TSMC stand at the center of this storm. Their next moves, along with those of the U. Will the world choose collaboration or confrontation? Can innovation survive the rising walls of division? Or will the chip war usher in a new era of isolated progress where the future is no longer shared but fractured? Only time will tell. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring with us. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the secret world of semiconductors and global power plays, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Universe is full of stories, not all of them are written in the stars.